we like commercial films, we like romantic comedies, we like films with a story and with something to say. And you could tell, you can just tell in a room when, you're get, when somebody's pitching at you whether or not something lies behind it, whether or not it has something to say about life. And this film, this pitch to us was funny, we were engaging, crying, we were crying laughing. laughing. Part of it was yeah. just that from, uh, but on from top the of that, outside. you could tell that it wasn't just somebody wanting, two filmmakers wanting to make a film for the sake of it. They had some things they wanted to say. They are, some pe they are people of experience in the world. You know, John is a novelist, and, you know, and also a director, and Pete is an actor and a writer and a, an Oscar-nominated director. They're guys who have a lot of experience in the business, a lot of experience in life, and you know, you could tell from this pitch that they were drawing on all of that, and that they had arrived at a point, a moment in time, where they were ready to deliver on all of their innate talent and potential, all of their experience. And this film to us was, you know, we were just going, okay, well, this film says something about male friendship, it says something about modern Ireland, it says something about the complications of love, and that's already a whole lot. On top of that, it's hysterically funny. I mean, he is so metro. Metro? Metropolitan? Metropolitan? <laughs> they usually, the only clowns that men care about are the ones they make for their stag weekend. But for not going on the stag. Really? Okay. This is a crazy proposition. It's, it's, you know, to get a script in September and to be starting principal photography four weeks later is something I've never heard of, you know. The challenges <clears throat> were it a cold November that we're going to be starting with and you know the first two weeks of this we're going to be entirely outdoors we don't have the budget for facilities and Winnebago's and dining trucks and all of those things so from a practical point of view it's just how on earth do you do this and there's six, six men who are naked for a lot of that. 